Okay, friends, uh, we're learning uh, Perk Yavais, Perk Beis, Mishnah Ches. This is a, uh, a well-known Mishnah, and I want to read just the beginning of it. And Rabbeinu Yoyna, off the bat, has a Chidush Nifla in how to read the Mishnah. Rabbi Yochem and Zakai kibel mehila lumishamai. Rabbi Yochem and Zakai received the Torah from Hillel and Shamai. Hu He would say, "Im lamadata Torah harbe al tachzik Torah laatzmacha." If you learned a lot of Torah, do not give yourself credit. Kilakach noitzarta. That's what you were created for, right? Would anybody say? You know, do you know, you know who you're talking to? Oh, who, who? You're talking to someone who breathes thousands of times a day. Oh, really? I, I didn't know, you know. Kal kavod to you. You're an amazing individual that you breathe. I mean, would anybody take pride in the fact that they breathe? Says Rabbi Yechem if you learn a lot of Torah, you're going to give yourself credit? That's what you were created to do. Now, all my life, I always read this Mishnah that Rabbi Yechem and Zakai was making one point. If you learn a lot, don't take credit for yourself. That's what, why you were created. By the way, I once saw Rabbi Moshe Feinstein writes, you know, when Yaakov Inu learned four to 14 years in the Yeshiva Shem Ve'ever, it is never mentioned explicitly. It says he slept in this place, but the 14 years in Yeshiva Shem Ve'ever, he didn't sleep at night. Or Rashi says, from the years of the life of Yishmael, we can infer that Yaakov Inu learned 14 years in the Yeshiva Shem Ve'ever. Why? Why doesn't the Torah say Yaakov Avinu learned 14 years? Says Rav Moshe, it's to highlight the idea that if a person learns a lot, don't tell, take credit for yourself. That's what you were created for. Rav Hashem created us to learn. Rabbeinu Yoyna takes this statement of the Mishnah and he cuts it up, he dissects it, that Rav Yochem and Zakai is articulating two points. Says Rabbi Yoyna, Rabbi Yochem and Zakai Kibel Mehillel Umishami. By the way, if anybody uh, wants to see this inside, if you have a regular shas, in the back of Masechta Hayriyos is Masechta Avais, and in the the commentary in a regular shas on Perkei Avais is the Rashi, the Rambam, and Rabbi Yoyna. Rabbi Yoyna says, Hu Haya Oimer, Imasisa Tairascha Harbe. So Rabbeinu Yoyna learns that Rabbi Yochem and Zak is making two points. Number one, what do you mean you learned a lot? The Adayin Atabaroish, you're still in the beginning. How are you still in the beginning? Imagine you have a guy. You have a guy, he says, I already learned the, uh, the whole Shas, Daf Yoimi. Really? Do you know it? Yeah, yeah, I could, uh, I know the basic ideas. Do you know the shak levita with the Gemara's kasha is and Gemara's answer is klar? Oh, no, 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 I just, you know, I just, I just learned it. But I don't really know it clear. Or let's say you have someone who does know it clear. Do you know it with all the toysvis? Toysvis? I never did the toysvis. So you didn't even start yet. But let's say a guy who knows it with the toysvis. You know it with the toysvis. You know it with, with the, the depths of the real svara of what Taisus means? At any point of learning that a person is at, they can legitimately say they're just at the beginning. When are you even going to get to the middle or the end? Or we could say to him, Do you know, do you know Sefer Yecheskel? Do you know Sefer Eoiv? Do you know Sefer Yeshaya? Did you even learn it once? Certainly not a hundred times. Do you know Evan Hoyazar? Do you know Chosh and Mishpat? Do you know Yaradea with the Noisei Kalim? Do you know Halacha Lamaisa? Do you know Shaul Sechuvas? Do you know Sifrei Kabbalah? Wherever you are in Torah, you could legitimately ask yourself, I'm not even in the middle let alone the end. Ki ha aruka me eretz mida or chaminayam is longer than the land, wider than the sea. Vein asogas ho enoshi chalagi el katsa A human mind cannot reach 
the epitome of Torah, how distant a person is from it. How can a person give himself credit? A person did not even advance in Torah one out of a thousand of what he could do. This is the first statement. It's even before you get to the words ki lekach noy tzarta is imasisa tairas harbe al taksik toivel atzmacha because harbe is relative. You know what it's like? It's like a kid who's saving up pennies, nickels, and dimes for 10 years and then he opens up his piggy bank and he says, Ma, Da, look what I have! And he breaks open the piggy bank and he has $63.54. I'm rich! Say, kid, you know what you could buy for $63.53? That will get you about an hour's worth in your sleepaway camp. That's not money. The same thing, even after... Any, oh, a sisa? I don't know, I was wondering about that. Why Rabbi Nuyoyna is gers of im asisa and not im lamadata? To me, the word asisa includes not only learning, but even if you have great achievements in Torah, in whatever, in, in disseminating or in producing, that, that word encompasses more than just learning itself. So too, a person could be learning for decades, and he opens up his piggy bank, what is it? But then Rabbi Yoyna adds another point. Ki lekach noitzarta. That's why God created you. Hakadosh Baruch Hu loy ha imtziacha yesh meayin rak lasoys tayrasay. Here the word asisa, by the way, might in, might include the performance of mitzvahs also. Hashem only created you ex nihilo to fulfill His Torah. You see clearly, Rabbi Yonah learning, is learning that these are two separate points. For this reason also, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't give credit to yourself. This is a mashal to a debtor who paid back his debt. Do you give the guy covered? Imagine a guy borrowed a thousand dollars and he pays back a thousand dollars. He says, oh look, look what a generous guy I am. I gave him a thousand dollars. Hey pal, you gave him a thousand dollars because he lent it to you. Nobody would take credit for paying back a debt. So to take credit for learning Torah, v'zu amida gamken hi al ha Ah, Rabbi Yosef asked why it says asisa Torah harbe. Why doesn't it say so here Rabbi Yonah is saying that even if you did, this applies to mitzvahs also. Even if you performed a lot of mitzvahs, don't give yourself credit. That's what you were created for. Okay Rabbi Yisai, I thank you for joining us today. Like we mentioned, this coming Matzai Shabbos begins a 48-hour campaign. Charity.com slash MMH Whatever you're able to do, Tavay Alecha Bracham and Hashemayim. I wish everybody a beautiful, wonderful Shabbos. Bracha Vatzlacha. And uh, see everybody again. Uh, you could join us Sunday morning for an Ion Shir at about 11.15. And, uh, or Monday, uh, 9 a.m. for Mishnabura. Or the Agar the Pirkab as a Sashem at 11.40. Kaltov everyone. Bimatzliach. 